Welcome back. Welcome to the Hibbity Hop, Skibbity Bop, Skibbity Twilight. Welcome to Dark Souls Lore Explanation. Yay! I really like the lore Dark of these Souls. Can I just get my bottle of water, please? I have something to sip on while I right. listen to you do more. I didn't get Sorcerer. I'll try to attempt with that. Battle. Okay, shoot. Alright, I'll wait for you to sit down also. I forgot to get Sorcerer for this attempt. Oof. But it's going well. I've yet to be hit. Okay. So you're getting better. Oh, yeah, I am. Alright, go on then. I hope so. Alright. Dark Souls 1. Before you even get to be introduced to the world and play the game, um, before there was anything else, there were dragons. They just kind of existed. They didn't do anything. They were just there. What are they made of? Stone. Like, most of the their scales and stuff are made of stone. Then, like... Without warning or anything, fire. And so... Humans... Like, scramble to go get... The fire. Yeah. From the fire, there are things called Lord Cinders. Okay. Cinders of a Lord, which they use to gain power over the world. Mm. There's Nido. He's pretty Nido. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He kind of basically has the power of a death. Oh, wow, okay. There's, um... Godwin, who is the main lord, he he kind of guards what's called the first flame, which is your whole point in the game is to go kindle the first flame. Uh, there's uh, there's others. I'm not too like in depth with Dark Souls One, but I do understand it. Mm. Okay. There's there's four lords. Mm. The 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 only two I can think of those two, and the other two. Are uh, also lords. They, they're lords. They have powers there, and they use these powers to go fight the dragons. Yes. To go show them, like just pretty much dominance. They all they kill pretty much all the dragons, and the, like the dragons are eternal. They can't die unless you physically go and kill them. Okay. A few live, including one that is also a lord who betrayed his other kinds. He's Seath the Scaleless. Okay. He's pretty cool. Okay. Um, so yeah, that all happens. So does so he the scales as a dragon? Yes. Cool. So that all happens. And then the Age of Fire comes into existence. Nice. Which is like basically like our version of... It's their version of basically like the Iron Age and like the Industrial Age and shit. Yeah. And so basically, the Dark Souls, like, canon is, like, so the fire, like, all the flames and, like, the fire is there, and it slowly dwindles. And when it starts dwindling, people panic, and, like, calamity happens, pretty much. Mm. And so people get concerned, and so it's your job to go rekindle the flame. But every time it gets rekindled, it gets weaker. Okay. And so in the first game, you do that. Second game, you do it again, it gets weaker, obviously. Mm. By the time it gets to Dark Souls 3, it's so weak to the point that, in that game, you just put it out. Pretty much. Uh -huh. And so the world is plunged into darkness. Okay. So, that, so that's why there can't be a fourth one? That's why there can't be a fourth one. Cool. Nice. It's a really interesting concept. And this game's canon in the Dark Souls universe, isn't it? No. No. Elden Ring and Dark Souls are completely separate. Just yeah. made by the same people. Yeah. Like, I'm dead. He fucking fell and I died. His attack didn't hit me. 
he fell out of his attack, and that's what killed me. So there's going to be a DLC for this game, isn't there? Yeah. Yes. It could drop it any moment this year. Yeah, because they said they, they said they're they're like guesstimating in May, sometime in May. That's pretty cool. We'll be sure to play it when it comes out. <laughs> Because by then, you'll be getting money. You'll be getting heavy, okay. heavy money. I want to, like, go through, like, all the Souls and games That's on fair. this channel. Like, normally. That's like, fair. We've played this game funny because, like, I play it you too much. So much. I'd be so bored as shit playing <laughs> yeah. it normally. Yeah. I'd breeze through it. It's not even funny. You've the Sorcerer. I didn't. Yeah. 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 So I do want to go and play all those other games normally, though. Yeah, sir. The only one I might not is Dark Souls 3, because I've played that a lot, too. Yeah. No, that's and great. possibly Bloodborne, because I've also played the shit out of that. Yeah. And I've always wanted to do a Bloodborne randomizer. Fair enough. Because they look so fun. Fair enough. Um, yeah, no, that's fair. Um, and Bloodborne's not a long game. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, oh. Only trade off that I want to get because obviously yeah you want to play that series and obviously it's a game that I can't play because I don't like the game and yeah yeah like I said the only trade off I have is Hitman I want to I want to play Hitman on this channel because I genuinely love Hitman and to make it more interesting I won't do um I won't do um like normal playthroughs of it like I won't do the mission stories and all that I'll do Silent Assassin suit only I have okay. I have Silent Assassin suit only Hitman 1 and 2. I have Silent Assassin suit only Hitman 1 and 2. However, those were hard. <laughs> those were very, very hard. Um, no, actually, Hitman 1 was harder. Hitman 2... No, Hitman 1 was easier, actually. Colorado was a bitch. <laughs> and Hokkaido was even worse. Because it doesn't help when in Hokkaido... One of the targets is surrounded by people constantly. And so you have to find you have to find the heart that um you have to find the heart that they're gonna transplant for because okay, okay, I'm gonna give some tidbits of Hitman now. Um so basically, um this isn't lore. I'm not gonna um, lore lore I, I could tell about lore, but I don't know if you wanna hear that. Um <laughs> okay, I'll say the lore after this. But basically the target in Hokkaido, um he was born with a rare condition, which is an actual condition in real life, um, where his, his heart's on the left side. Not the right, oh, it's on the left that. side, yeah. So very rare to have that, and so in the game he has that, and, then, and they, found a, they found a donor with a heart that's compatible with that, and they wouldn't be able to get, and like, and like, and like he's on the brink of death, so like this heart was like the last go-to. So obviously you can kill him by finding the heart they're going to use and just squeezing it. And done. You can kill him like that. That's the only way you can do it in Silent Assassin Suit only. Because there is no physical way you can get to him normally. No physical way. So yeah. Did that. That was a bitch to get into. Because the heart itself is behind glass and like a door. So you have to like kind of sneak in while the door's open. Or you could, or, you, or as I found out later, you can just shoot through the glass. Yeah, I'd assume so. But, pardon me for expecting the glass to be bulletproof, seeing you know every other fucking window in that place is bulletproof. So pardon me for assuming it'd be bulletproof. Anyway. You're pardoned. Pardon? You're pardoned. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, when we do him, and you can log into my account, my IOI account, and you'll see what level I am. I'm like, so level 180 something. <laughs> I play that game a lot. I'm taking a little break because I don't want to get sick of it. Mm. Um, so I'm taking a little break, and also because I know Hitman 3 is going to be the hardest one. Easily by far. I'm already not looking forward to Berlin. Um, oh, Jesus, I played Berlin. <laughs> yeah. Um, the Berlin mission, basically, you don't have a target. You have targets, which is usually fine, but you have targets and they don't reveal themselves. Yep. Until, like, you have to do some snooping around. And the snooping around, you have to be, like, in, like, in a certain, um... They have to be in a certain costume, but if you're doing pseudo, you can't do that. Um, yeah, you just kind of have to know. You kind of, yeah, you just kind of have to know. And so, and also because like there's so many people around, like constantly, it be it's gonna be it's gonna be a bitch. I'm gonna have to find a I'm gonna have to find a body pit. I'm gonna have to make it. I'm gonna have to go back to my old strategy of doing a body pit. 
<laughs> Do you remember when I told you about the body fence? Yeah. <laughs> like 20 bodies you'd find sacked. Because <laughs> they'd be in places that nobody goes to. Um, should I explain the Hitman lore then? Go on. Alright, so Hitman lore, um, actually pretty interesting actually. So, this, okay. Same with you with Dark Souls 1. I understand the lore of the first games, but I never played them. Mm -hmm. And I just very, yeah, but I understand the lore. So basically, there's this... The first few games were ultimately, like, just Hitman games. Like, you got a bit of lore in there, but it wasn't fully there. The heavy lore came with the trilogy that came out, the newer trilogy. Um, basically, Agent 47, the guy you play as, he was part of a program where um, a place disguised as a school was actually being trained to train like the most elite of assassins, like from kids to be elite assassins, Agent 47 was one of them. Him and this other guy escaped. And so, the, and so they were on the run, and then they got caught, um, and then his friend got killed. You'll see why I put killed in quotes later. Um, or, yes, no, yeah, you'll see, you'll see why he got killed, um, killed in quotes later. Um, he then went back, um, because he was the best one, like he was the best one, they didn't really want to punish him. They were like, it's okay, just don't do it again. Don't do it again. They kind of, they kind of, they kind of like, yeah. So anyway, okay, buddy. This anyway, he. Buddy, grew, it's okay. This anyway, he grew up and he was sold to a hitman business for lots of money. Um, that's what they were doing. They're selling their stuff and stuff. Then it's sold off to them. Um, and so that, and so then you've got that, and that's when the first games take place. Then you've got the world of assassination. World of assassination is when it starts off just um, you get transported to another. Hitman. Oh, or oh, the first games when you're actually hunting down the people who. No, sorry. First Hitman game is just you being killing them. The second Hitman game is when you're hunting down the people who fucking made you into a Hitman, and you kill them. Then we get to the start of the trilogy when you go to a new company. Cool. Okay, we're back on track. Sorry, that was like I said. I understand the law, but I don't know it. Yeah. First Hitman game is you do that. You take orders from a shadow client. Very mysterious. Well. And it seems like normal targets until you get to Colorado, when you realize that all these targets are linked. And, okay, the Shadow Clan knows a lot more than, than he's letting on. And also, um, you find out about a group that is thought to be extinct. But they're not. They are still thriving and they're still alive. So then you go to Hokkaido, which Hokkaido, the targets, they weren't. Um, no, one of them was from a shadow client, but it just so happened that the other target was someone from your business that you're with. And we don't trust the business anymore because they've been lying to us. So we go, okay, we'll kill them and kill them. Da -da -da -da. That's when, at the end of that game, you find out the sh um, Not at the end of that game, sorry. Um, Hitman 2. Start of Hitman 2, you and Diana, sorry, I should probably find out. The woman who's telling you all this shit, her name's Diana. She's amazing. I love her. She's great. Um, Diana, you and Diana decide to go rogue and um, hunt down everybody part of um, that group. Yes. That's the majority of the game. The first two missions aren't that, but that's the majority of the game. You guys kind of know, like, like we're going to backstab them eventually. And so, right. you, and so you do. Um, and then that's also when you find out the Shadow Client was the friend that was killed. Oh, and he's awesome, he's Whoa. my favorite character, and it sucks that he dies in the third game. Anyway. He's actually he's dead. He's actually dead this time. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so then, so then you do that, you capture the leader of the, of the, of the cult, of the, of the little, of the little group at the end, and then you interrogate him, and then he escapes. Um, in the third game is you just hunting down targets, <laughs> like hunting down the heads of the group. That's why there's only like five missions in the third game. There's only five heads. And then the sixth mission is you on a train because you've been captured and then you're killing. And I was so happy when I was told this, you kill everybody on that train. You can. You can. I didn't because it got to a point where it got really, really hard because I got swarmed. But you can because you, you, you're completely allowed. No, sorry, you're allowed to kill everyone that's armed. So that's everyone on that train bar two. The two scientists that are like, ah, oh, yes, look at you. That's it. And obviously the target, the, the main guy. So yeah, that's it, man. I love the games to bits. They're possibly some of my favorite games. I love how much lore is in Elden Ring, though. That fills up 
a 12 hour long video, a 10 hour long video, and like a 9 hour long video. Fun. What's another more heavy game that we love? Other than FNAF, because let's be honest. <laughs> oh, <Other than> FNAF. <laughs> <laughs> Can you try and explain it? Uh. Something about Shaggy being a killer, I don't know. Um. <laughs> like, Zoinks! Like, Zoinks, Scoob! Like, Zoinks! I just killed the man! I gotta kill all these kids! I gotta kill all these kids! <laughs> Have you seen the movie yet? I've not seen the movie yet, no. So I shouldn't say anything. I I know there's a pillow fort building scene. <laughs> that was that thing. Yeah. Would you watch it tonight? It doesn't take that long to get through that part of the movie. We could. We find a way to pirate it. <laughs> That's how I watched them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, if we didn't do that. We're not the oh. any crime of duh, no. Do you like my snap that I said? Because <laughs> you think it's going to be like TJ's up? Okay, but sense. <laughs> I mean, but, but no. No, but joking. It's so stupid. Jeez, bro. Oh, man. I can't wait till we blow up and people are going to make compilations of us being like, moments when Marlon and Malik were gay. <laughs> a lot of them are going to be from me. <laughs> but. All of them. No, 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 no. You had your. <laughs> you, had, you did partake in some of them. I know. Don't be, don't, 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 don't be. Don't be dead young trying. <laughs> You're not doing well. How are you getting worse? Oh, that's Elden Ring for you. <laughs> You're getting significantly worse. Oh, I'm um, sorry, we're we doing Black Flag. We're we playing Black Flag. Oh. That's another, that's another series we should do. The Assassin's Creed series? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Fuck yeah. Have you played Assassin's Creed? I played a few of the games, I kind of got bored of them. Which ones did you play? Black Flag, Unity, and... You got bored of Black Flag? Valhalla. You got bored, okay. Valhalla, yeah, and Unity, yeah. The start of the games are so slow that I just go... Oh. Black Flag? Yeah. Dude! All the, the start of all the games are so slow, and I'm just like... Ooh! Oh. Yeah. Uh, th th there's got to be a lot of games that... We have to play. Are those Death Note things mongers? Yep. Nice. Four and six were the wrong way around yesterday and I fixed them. Nice. I wasn't the one that originally put them there. Is that something you hang over TJ's head? <laughs> Currently, yes. Nice. I Do you know how to read Roman numerals? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Uh, I know how to read up to 12. Because it's a clock. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> clock. <laughs> and I had to get the 12, that's it. 13 is X and 3, 14 is X, I, F, V, 15 is X, V, 16 is X, V, I, X, V, I, S, I, X, V, I. Oh, that makes sense, actually. I, X, V, I, I, I. What's 20? Isn't it X, X, or it's, it's something specific? Isn't it L? No, L's like a hundred or something. And C's a thousand. When uh, does M come in? <laughs> comes into my nuts. Oh, shit! We haven't touched Grayson in a while. Nah. We should, I will. We should show Grayson love. <laughs> I just died in your arms, arms tonight. tonight. There must have been something you said. How long we go to stream for today? <laughs> Fucking, huh? How long we go to stream for today? Because keep in mind, I can easily go out and get dinner, and you can just stay here. <laughs> I was thinking we could stream for as long as we physically can. <laughs> I've streamed for eleven hours before. I am going to say this: I do need sleep, um, because I have to get up tomorrow and I have to go back down to to pick up my mom because I gotta go see my grandma tomorrow. So I do have to sleep. What time? <laughs> Ten thirty pickup. <laughs> I have run off five hours sleep before. Okay. <laughs> Just saying. Although this this room is hot and stuffy, and I am assuming that we I'm can turn the aircon on or the fan on. I, I am assuming that I'm going to sleep in this room. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I might not room. get a very. I might wake up and I might be a bit cranky. This room doesn't get too hot. Okay. It does just get stuffy though, and so you will want the fan on. Cool. Yeah, it's weird. Fucking snake ball. 
No yeah. grand duration. I have no never done this this way before. I've always gone the normal way. But you're going this way now? I'm going this way because I don't have the items to go the normal way. Fair enough. Because Malaketh can go fucking suck it. I haven't killed a single main story boss yet. Because they've all been fucking bullshit, haven't they? Yeah. Um. Well, no. I don't know what. Um. Please send me a message. It's an Instagram message. Oh, by the way, this is Tim Tam's 60th birthday, apparently. Huh? Today's Tim Tam's 60th birthday. Tim Tam? Yeah, Tim Tam's. Oh, literally the, the food. The fucking biscuit! I thought you were talking about a person, I was like, no! No, literally the food. Got yeah, it. literally the food. It's the 60th birthday today. Oh, we should go, we should go get some Tim Tams to celebrate. Hell yeah. Which ones do you want? I'm probably gonna get two. I'm probably gonna get two. The reason why is because I want to try those dark mint ones. You can have some. Because yeah, these are the two things you don't like. Um, I'm gonna guess the other See, one. I've realised dark chocolate. It's only like straight dark chocolate. I don't like. Yeah, dude. What dark chocolate are you having? Like, how much percent cocoa? Like old gold. Just ass. Okay, no, you're okay. No, she's ass. No, 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 you're stupid. I don't care. I've done part taken. That's not meant to be there. There's a bear in there. Why is the bear just okay? Why is the bear just like this? Like, oh, I see you're here. It like posed so seductively. Oh, you've caught me. Oh no. Oh no, officer. Whatever shall I do? Rear's butt more. Ah, <laughs> oh, poison. Ah, bitch. Like, oh, whatever shall I do? It looks like go, I'm gonna, go, it looks go. like I'm gonna have to do all of you. Oh, I want that. Whatever it is, I don't know what it is. How many how many times I quote has when I tell it? Ooh, that was a really good pickup. Was it? Oh, no, it wasn't. <laughs> it was. Why? Um, it heals me. Oh, it does passive healing. Ooh. Oh, I think it's only if I have two pieces of the armor set. You, you, can check. you can check. That's not useful for me. I don't want to heal. If I die, I have poison. I'm pretty sure I don't have two of the pieces of the armor set. <laughs> like, it's worth checking, but. Yeah. Raw remains. Are you going to keep them on? Or? Yeah. Okay. Um, I assume they're just going to be dropped to here. Yeah, cool. The corporation. Oh, I've got that song stuck in my head now. What song? Um, it's from the um Death Note musical that they've kind of made, kind of not. Um, Jeremy John again. Um, he plays. He plays someone. I don't know. I haven't watched Death hey, Note. Someone. I haven't watched Death Note. One of the main characters. Probably. Um, what, but do you know what he looks like? No, because they haven't. They haven't. I don't know. I don't know. Um, hold on. Let me Google it for you. I'll, I'll Google it for you. So I was going to say, if he's one of the main ones, he's either L White or... The weird demon guy. Yeah, which I can't think of his name. Who... Who does Jeremy... Jeremy... I can't spell Jeremy, apparently. Jeremy... Jordan... Clay... In... Death Note. He's a musical. Light. Okay, so he's the main character. Yeah. He almost featured as Light Yagami in the 2014-15 English concept concept album. See, concept. Yeah. So they didn't actually make it a musical. He's the main character. Got him. <laughs> he is him. <laughs> he is him. <laughs> um, by the way, time, time went off. Oh, okay, hold on. I just stopped it before I like, had a second left. Oh, let's get exploded. Explosive <laughs> turn. <laughs> 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 That's what happens when you eat Mexican. Here's where I want to be. All right, so touch grace. Yeah. All right. All right. Next time. Next time. <gasps>